Hey YouTube, welcome to this tutorial in Adobe After Effects. This time I'm going to show you how to make a demon warp effect. And it's a lot easier than um <coughs> it's a lot easier than Video Copilot's tutorial because in their tutorial you like have to reverse the tracking and stuff and it's hard, but this is a lot easier and it'll look like this. Okay, so to start, we're going to just take our footage and then drag it into the new composition button. And then we're going to go to layer, new, adjustment layer. And then, oh yeah, and your footage should basically just be you pretending to be a demon. Demon. And we're going to click name our demon layer, demon. And then ad name the adjustment layer null. And then click on the demon layer, and then go up to the works workspace workspace in the top right of the screen, and change it to motion tracking. And the tracker control should come up. So now we're going to go to the beginning of the timeline. Hit track motion. And then we're going to, we'll see it selects position automatically, but we're also going to click on rotation. And then we're going to, oops, we're going to take the track point one and drag it to like this area of your eye and take track point two and do the same thing. And then we're going to hit the um, analyze one f frame forward and it should follow your eyeballs so just basically um you can hit the play button which tracks it forward and you can see that it follows it pretty nicely okay we'll see that this like blue stuff will appear and that's basically the path of the tracker and so like it basically tracked our eye pretty good so we're going to go over to ha edit target change it to the null layer which is what we named our adjustment layer hit ok then hit apply it'll say apply dimensions x and y hit ok And now we can see that the adjustment layer or the null follows our face. And now we're just we can easily just apply um, a warp to it. So click on the null. Go to layer. Oh no, I'm sorry. Effect. Distort. Liquify. And these are all of the tools that we can do to distort the face. So like this one sort of twists it around. And you might see that um, the circle is pretty big. So to, fi to make it smaller or bigger, we can hold control, hold down the mouse, and then either like go left to shrink it or go right to make it grow. And we want to be about as big as the eyeball maybe even yeah like that big and then we're just going to hold down the mouse and we can see that it distorted it okay so that's what these two tools do this one that looks like a weird shape and they're um, on each side there are some triangles pointing inward that shrinks something so if we hold down on the eye it'll go down and it gets all squinty and I like to do that for the eyes because it sort of makes it look like a zombie or something and then the next one with the arrows pointing outward that grows it so we can go over to the part when I open my mouth and we can um, make the selection area grow and just hold down on the mouth and the mouth will grow
but I don't really like doing anything to the mouth because it makes it look sort of weird. But I'm just going to make it grow a little bit. Oh yeah, and the first one, the first logo with a finger pointing down. This you can sort of click on something and move it around. So I'm going to zoom in, shrink my selection area, and just move up the nostrils. look kind of like a monkey okay so now we can see that we basically distorted our face but you'll see that even before we want to turn ourselves into a demon it'll still be there so we can go to the beginning of the timeline bring the distortion percentage down to zero and keyframe it and then go to the point right when you want your um, distortion to occur, which is over here. And we're going to um, click on the null and hit U. And then click on this little stopwatch over here. Well, no, it's not a stopwatch. It's a keyframe. And then go down a few frames. And then bring the percentage back up. And then we're going to go over to when we want it to stop which is right here, and then add another keyframe, go down a few frames, and then, oh wait, sorry. Okay, once we're over at the point when you want the distortion to happen, we're going to add a keyframe, go down a few, a few frames, and bring the distortion percentage up to 100, because the mo most you can bring it up to is 200. And then we're going to go when we want it to end. And then add a keyframe. Go down a few frames. And then bring the percentage down to zero. So that's basically how to make this effect. You can also add sound effects and stuff. So I'm going to just add in a cyborg roar. And we can add in like a sound effect for um, when it ends. Okay, so that's how you make this effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and comment and rate. And I'll see you next time. And the next tutorial is probably going to be like a teleporting or jumper. So I'll see you later.